Which is a better U.S. dividend ETF, the incumbent SCHD or the up-and-coming challenger CGDV? This channel is run by two experienced investment professionals who used to show portfolio managers at Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley how to evaluate funds and build portfolios. So today, we're going to show you how to pick between SCHD and CGDV. Let's start with the incumbent SCHD. The Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF is one of the largest and most successful U.S. Dividend ETFs around. It's based on the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index, which has 100 stocks that have paid dividends at least 10 years in a row and have strong enough balance sheets to keep doing it. According to a computer-driven formula of financial metrics chosen by the people at S&P Dow Jones, it also only invests in companies within the highest yielding half of U.S. stocks, and it has limits in place so that it doesn't get too concentrated in one company or sector. The fund is mostly made up of high-quality, well-established blue chip companies like UPS, Pepsi, and Home Depot. Its focus on high quality companies with higher yields than the market tends to lead to a portfolio with lower volatility than the S&P 500 and a healthy dividend yield, which has typically been in the 2.5 to 4% range over the past 10 years. Since dividend paying companies have been out of favor for the last few years, the yield is now on the higher end of that range as of March, 2024. The way this works is that companies pay dividends in dollars per share and the yield percentage is the dollar amount of dividends divided by the share price. So when company fundamentals have been strong and they've been paying healthy dividends, but share prices have been weak, the dividends tend to be a higher percentage of the share price, aka yields go up. Often, this tends to be a good time to buy dividend paying stocks, but I don't wanna get too far off track. We'll touch on that more at the end. SCHD has generated pretty consistently higher returns with lower volatility than other value ETFs, like IWD, the iShares Russell 1000 value. It's also passively managed and costs just six basis points or 0 0.06 per year, which makes it a very solid option in my opinion, but it's not the only option. Enter the challenger, CGDV, the Capital Group Dividend Value ETF. Since its launch in 2022, it's beaten the pants off of SCHD by over 23% in just over two years. This is only a short time frame, but numbers like that should certainly warrant consideration if you're in the market for a U.S. dividend ETF. Unlike SCHD, CGDV is actively managed, and what gives me confidence despite its short track record is that it's managed by Capital Group, which is sort of the king of dividend investing in the mutual fund world. There are U.S. dividend-oriented funds, like the American Funds Washington Mutual Investors Fund, Investment Company of America, and American Mutual Fund have long histories, all over 50 years, of beating the S&P 500 with lower volatility. Now that they're starting to offer some of their funds in more tax-efficient ETF wrappers and at extremely low cost, like CGDV, at only 33 basis points, it's time investors started paying attention. CGDV attempts to build a portfolio of U.S. stocks that can produce an above-average income for its investors and an opportunity for long-term growth. In a lot of ways, CGDV looks for similar types of companies to SCHD. Both of them focus on a diversified set of high-quality, dividend-paying companies I expect to generally lead to lower volatility and higher yield than the S&P 500 and most other value-oriented ETFs. As for how to choose between them, here are what I think are the key differentiating factors. A key difference is that CGDV tries to provide an overall yield higher than the S&P 500, but not every company it holds has to have an above average yield, whereas they do in SCHD. That leads to three key differences. SCHD will typically have a higher yield. SCHD will tend to lean more value oriented, even though they're both in the value category, but CGDV will have more flexibility to do well in different kinds of market environments. That's part of the reason why SCHD did better in 2022 when value was heavily in favor, and CGDV did better in 2023 when growth came back into favor. In my opinion, both of these are solid options for someone's portfolio if they want a lower risk, higher yielding US stock investment than the S&P 500. And actually, I think the kinds of companies they own are the kinds that can do well in a higher rate environment, which we might be in for a little longer than people expected a few months ago. These also both have pretty limited exposure to the MAG7 stocks, so they can be a nice complement to some of the more aggressive growth-oriented options like the NASDAQ 100 or some of the ARK ETFs. You can actually get higher dividend yields outside the US, but as far as US options go, both of these are solid. High dividend payers are close to their record discount versus the S&P 500 
after the massive run in growth stocks we've had the past few years. And the extremely concentrated market of 2023, where only seven stocks drove about two thirds of the S&P 500's return. Value and dividend paying companies have generally trailed the S&P 500 and other sexier growth companies over the past 15 years, but that's coincided with Fed policy that artificially lowered interest rates through a process called quantitative easing. Lower interest rates help grow stocks more than value stocks, especially the ones that need to borrow a lot of money since they don't make much profit yet. Those are the kinds of companies that these ETFs don't own many of, or probably any of, but we are no longer in that environment. Interest rates have come back up to more normal levels. Inflation has been stubbornly high, and that environment could be more beneficial for ETFs that focus on high quality dividend payers like SCHD, and CGDV. If there are any other funds you're evaluating and you want me to do a comparison on them, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you want to continue the investment conversation, check out the link below to our free Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.